Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and I've got this just this stupid idea lately that's been going on in my head of, well, what would happen if you had the rule of you could change any Hearthstone card by changing one word on the card? Couldn't change any numbers. You couldn't change mana, attack, health. You could only change one word, and your objective is to destroy the game of Hearthstone. So, for example, a sinful brand. What if instead of branding an enemy minion, you would brand an enemy hero? So, for the rest of the game, whenever they take damage, Damage, while well, they take two instead would probably be pretty busted so I thought I'd go through every class and some neutrals and just give you guys an example of how to break the game by just changing one word and I would love for you guys to share your own suggestions and if you guys enjoy the video concept we can do some other ideas with it but more importantly I can share your guys' suggestions and just have some more fun with this and if you enjoy the content and you feel like I've earned your subscription drop a sub down below hit the like button and help this channel on our road to 60k but let's get into some of these utterly stupid examples and let's break hearthstone for good so again remember the rules of this challenge is you can only change one word and you can't change any numbers and well twig is already a pretty darn good card but what if instead of the death rattle of game 10 mana crystals it was just a straight up battle cry. Immediately gain it. You don't even need the sphere. I think the game would be in just a tiny bit of trouble. Well, it already kind of is with the twig existing, but still, battle cry, pretty darn ridiculous. How Master Shaw used to be a pretty prevalent card. Did you even know it's in the core set right now? And well, it has the ability of giving your other minions rush. Well, what if we change the word rush? and give them all charge. I mean, it's kind of in line with Tundra Rhino and well, just everything gets charged. That would be pretty darn good. The Amazing Reno hasn't really seen much meta play in WoW these days. It's a 10 mana hero card, which makes all minions disappear. Poof, but how about instead of minions, we just get rid of the enemies, just, just poof everything. Get rid of the heroes, get rid of the minions, just get rid of it all. And we actually kind of do that with Reno the Relicologist right now in Wild, at least temporarily with that bug. But yes, uh, I think that would be an effective card, but still probably unplayable at 10 mana. So might have to work on this one a little bit more. The latest Paladin Legendary, uh, the Countess, has already been buffed. Their uh, invitations are two mana. However, she's still not quite good enough. And I thought of a good way of making her better is well, just take this no out of here and just, if your deck has neutral cards, add three legendary invitations to your hand. Surely it's gotta be good enough if you can just run neutrals, like everybody likes neutrals, so that's gonna work out. Although it would be bad if you've drawn all of your neutral cards and then it just doesn't work, but I mean, still, it's probably good enough. You know, Natalie was always a pretty decent pick off Zeph, destroying a minion and gaining its health, but you know what would be even better? Just destroying the hero, gain their health, and then maybe it actually craft Natalie Selene. It's like one of the only cards I don't have golden. And yeah, I think that would be a pretty, you know, clever OTK. I actually could see that as just power crept option one day. I should not give them ideas. You know, I hear a lot of rogue mains complaining that rogue's just not quite good enough. And well, a Necrolord Draka probably could use a tiny bit of an upgrade. Again, we can't change numbers. However, we can change one word in this and well, attack for each other card you you played this game seems pretty good you don't even have to set it up just play a bunch of cards throughout the game play this and well your opponent's probably just dead scargill has actually been seeing some play in wild these days because it's just so easy to tutor out and then you just get out your mutinous and all this greed stuff out pretty well but why just cheat out murlocs why not just change it so your minions cost one it's like aviana but four mana what could go wrong commander Ulthok. i try to think of a way of making this card broken and I thought, how about just making your opponent's cards cost mana instead of mana? So you just get a five mana seven seven. So probably it'd be worth it, but I'm trying. This card's terrible. Full work of Azanoth was a pretty good warrior weapon, and whenever your hero would take damage, it loses one durability instead. But what if it just lost an attack? and it just went like infinitely to zero and you just keep losing an attack. The weapon never goes away. It just never goes away or ever away. You would have to ooze it. You would have to destroy it. And well, it's like facing Cariel, except they're completely immortal. Be pretty good. I think it would be pretty good. Honestly, Warrior might just need this buff right now. Let's just skip to that. Prince Keleseth used to be a pretty good card, but doesn't see much play. So why don't we just break it and change the one word to just say, if your deck has two cost cards, 
you just need to run some and you're good to go. So as long as you don't draw your two cost cards, you still hand buff everything. Honestly, that, that would still probably not see play. My God, what has happened at this game? You know, Highlander cards aren't quite good enough. You got Zephyrus, you got Reno, you got all these Highlander cards and well, you can simply change all of them to say if your deck has duplicates, wish for the perfect card or whatever activation you need. As long as you have duplicates, you're good to go. So knowing me, I'll draw all of my duplicates by turn two somehow and be very upset. But you know, taking that restriction away would probably make them even better, wouldn't you think? The darkness became meta with Switcheroo very briefly. So I thought, how could we get the darkness to return? This big four mana 2020 shuffles three candles into the enemy deck when drawn this awakens i thought instead of starting dormant though why don't we just start it stealthed that would be pretty good you got a 2020 they can't even interact with that's pretty solid or maybe even start it with charge if that makes sense i just feel like stealth thematically works a bit better and you're also shutting off the highlander cards because you have the downside of playing a four mana 2020 that dies to shadow word ruin right so we got to give it a little bit of an upside and probably should make it a demon hunter card at launch that that would have also this would that just kind of resembles a demon hunter card at launch to be honest hemet nesting wary just never sees play and well why not destroy a hero instead of a beast this could go for any hate card a galaka crawl or anything like that but basically anything that says destroy ah you can just you could just destroy the game by yeah destroying a hero you know kelthazad is one cool greedy card and it honestly has barely seen play only very very early on in hearthstone's existence and like big priest but you know what would change this card to make it pretty darn broken well at the end of each turn how about you summon all friendly minions that have died this game i mean that's gotta be pretty good right kelfa sinstriders got nerfed to eight mana four seven but the text didn't change you know and i feel like we gotta fix that so you know what instead of every third minion let's just get rid of the third every minion you play each turn cost zero finally this card will be balanced can you imagine a world where if ragnaros instead of can't attack can attack and deal the eight damage would that be insane i actually wonder if that would even see play i mean back in the day that'd probably be broken but would that even be good enough probably not that that actually makes me very sad you know baku's not quite good enough honestly he's fallen off in wild and let's make him broken and you know what if your deck has any odd cost cards then upgrade your hero power you only need one screw the deck limitation screw all that and you know what the beautiful thing is baku's odd cost he counts that's all you gotta do run baku that would be uh, uh, just a little bit disgusting and lastly Ice Howl, one of the best legendaries of all time. It's insane, but unfortunately it has charge and can't attack heroes. You know what? I'm gonna be a madman. We're gonna break Hearthstone right now. Ice Howl can attack heroes and uh you're still never gonna play this card it's so bad anyways those are my suggestions they were all legendaries because i mean they're iconic and fun let me know give me some suggestions and maybe we'll do another one of these or maybe not i don't know it's a silly little thing that's just been the back of my mind and i thought i'd give it a go anyways if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends 